what is Google's consent mode version 2 all about? Basically, it's to do with privacy and your use of Google products. Let's imagine you're using Google Analytics or Google Ads, let's say conversion tracking, remarketing, or even Google AdSense or others. Let's say Google Tag Manager to analyze website traffic. Now you need to get consent before you can send data to Google servers. Here is the consent mode version 2. Add user data and add personalization. These by default has to be set to denied and only when someone accepts as in provides consent that is when the website should send traffic data to Google servers. Do you need to update your consent policies on your website? Yes, if you're using Google products, these are the new terms of service it's in terms of use for Google products. How do you do that? There is various different ways that you can implement the consent mode version 2 on your website. Google recommends looking for partner that Google works with. These provide plugins and apps to ensure that your website complies with the new terms of service. Do keep in mind, there is different ways you can set up consent mode version 2 on your website. For example, if you're a local business, you may not need functional um, consent, as in functional cookies, your website is using perhaps what I'm trying to tell you is, although Google suggests to use partners, that may not be the best way to implement Consent Mode version 2 on your website. I thank you for learning with Rankia. And also, before I close up, I'm creating a new blog post that basically covers many different scenarios and answers the Consent Mode version 2 as well as best practices too.